Hello, Internet. Uh, welcome to our new uh, sub-series, Trailer Talk. Talk. Uh, it's, just, it's just one of these new things we're trying to, like, in our goal to improve the presentation of of the whole YouTube, of the whole channel, you know, and, ho and taking into consideration that no one has time to watch a 40-minute uh, YouTube, uh, YouTube video. Uh, which is, it's our way of shortening the, mo the movie aftermath and improving our discussion of the of the, mo the movies in particular, but also including like a smaller sub, uh, a smaller video for the trailers attached to it. Because uh, uh, since it's the holiday season, we're getting a lot of new trailers for uh, for movies coming out in the in the spring and the summer. Um, so it's really actually, actually a really exciting time for trailers. And since it's, it is the Hobbit, it is the big release movie of the, of the holiday. Oh, they, we got all the big uh, movies attached. We got all the, we got a lot of the big uh, Warner Brothers movie attached to it. And this week has nothing but new trailer after new trailer after new trailer. Trailer. It's really fun to talk about. So our first one is Three Hundred: Rise of an Empire. Ships, slow motion. There, giant choirs. This ah, oh. uh, basically this it's. I think it's supposed to be both a prequel and a sequel to 300. Basically, the prequel aspect is uh, Ava Green, who plays this this uh, she witch, who uh, they make they make a point in the trailer saying she sold she sold her soul to death her death itself. So, but she's basically crazy. She gets uh, Cersei's pre uh, piercings, and basically like, hey, you kill all of, kill all of the Spartans. And it's like. Yes, ma'am. And he goes in this pool and becomes Piercing's man. And then, uh... Okay, then 300 happens. Happens. And Lena Headley and uh, this new, uh... Like, I think he's like a Spartan commander or something. Something. Uh, basically set out to set, take revenge on... Take revenge for, uh... Leonidas' death. Death. And they basically have this giant naval battle. And it looks really pretty. It well, it should look pretty, pretty at least. Uh, this is, uh, it's coming from a diff. Uh, I think this Noam Nero, who I think he's like a completely new new face. I don't even think he's ever. I don't. I haven't seen anything he's directed, or if he has directed anything. Anything. And, and the trailer it looks. It's so. It's kind of like it's all the cliches you took from Three Hundred. Like it took like it's in, almost entirely in slow motion. It's a bunch of dramatic choirs and thumping, thumping all these violence and it's cool, but like it's a really, it's a trailer. I don't think it really, it doesn't make exactly clear what the plot is of the movie, really in, in terms of like what's the setup, setup. But it's more three hundred. It has ships. I, like honestly, ship battles are pretty cool. They have a lot of cool destruction and slow motion shots, even though it's kind of. Is really redundant of three hundred from three hundred and all its uh, copycats now, but it's pretty fun. I mean, I was, I'm, my dad's excited to see it, and, uh, and I wouldn't mind seeing it. But I'll let you know. Uh, well, we'll review that for sure. But I'd give it great uh, based on the trailer. Probably like a if I had to give that a grade, it's like a C plus, B minus. I mean, it's selling you on 300, it has, but it's just like, it's, it's the concept's confusing and has a bunch of like, it sort of oversells all the 300 cliches we've gotten to know now. But anyway, next trailer, uh, Godzilla! Godzilla! It's an awesome teaser trailer. It has a, it has a kick-ass Aaron Taylor Johnson, uh, the good... Act, the good Olsen sister and and Walter White he's in this movie it's awesome it's not directed by uh oh, Roland Emmerich Emmerich it looks really cool has this great like has this great setup in the like the first half of the trailer where it's basically this um army com this uh army commander on like uh this uh at the, it's not an Osprey but I know it's like a big cargo plane and he's selling the, all these men we have never faced a Godzilla before. Good luck with that. Before he's just like uh, they all airdrop from like five hundred, five thousand feet, five fifty thousand feet in the air, and, the, and you have this great shot, wide shot, and stem because they keep Godzilla hiding in the shadows for the entire trailer until the very end, where he does like the big ah! 
like the screen. Game. It, it's really cool. It has all these great destruction. It's a great tease. I'm not sure what this means for Pacific Rim. Rim, but I like and but I like Pacific. I love Pacific Rim, and I wouldn't mind seeing more kaiju-based monsters. Monsters. It looks really good. Uh, B plus. It's a great teaser trailer. There. Uh, let's say about that. Next one is a uh, Egypt Tomorrow. Tomorrow, starring uh, Tom Cruise, Emily Blunt, uh, Bill Paxton. And uh, directed by uh, Doug Lyman, who did the first Born movie and Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It's, I think it's based off an anime or a book, but I don't know. I don't remember the exact title off my head. The original title for the movie was supposed to be "All You Need Is Kill," which I think I, I think it's supposed to be on. It's because the uh, before I explain that, it's supposed to, the movie's basically uh, another sort of giant alien invasion. And you, it's basically like a lot of the, the aesthetic is very much like Starship Troopers. It's like this, it's a lot of muted colors, and uh, Tom Cruise and all the other army soldiers in this movie have these ridiculous mech sh suits with all these like layers of armor and weaponry attached to them. And this big, big helmet with visors. It's kind of a mix between the outfits in Star Trek and Starship Troopers with like the exoskeleton from uh, Aliens. It's uh, and it has all these awesome pop up like missile launchers and machine guns and shooting things and all those swords swords and it's really cool okay it's basically a uh, groundhog day if you made an action movie with tom cruise it's basically like he died like he died he starts out a rookie but he keeps dying and he gets he gets to like experience has new experience how not to die or just become a better soldier and somehow emily blunt also has this power or is at least aware of it it's kind of confusing confusing it's really cool. The original, like the original title for this movie, was supposed to be "All You Need Is Kill," which uh, I guess it's supposed to be like a play on something like "All You Need Is Time." Or it's I don't get it, but at least it was memorable. Edge of Tomorrow sounds like some weird soap opera movie, or like some it's probably gonna be like the cover song of the movie. On the edge of tomorrow. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Uh. I'm like uh I'm becoming a big Tom Cruise fan lately because uh after like Mission Impossible Four and Oblivion which I kind of, I I still kind of love in its own way way I like how he leverages his name just to be to support these sort of weirder genre like his with Oblivion and Edge of Tomorrow he support he's leveraging his sort of, his, what's left at least what's left of his like big budget uh uh Hollywood star name and trying to make that uh. Make these uh big, b very big budget uh genre niche pictures, and like this movie is looks niche as hell. I mean, this movie's big. It goes through like has a lot of effects, a lot of explosions, a lot of big scales and action shots, and aliens and all these big cinematography. Yeah, even though the trailer, I think it's 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 both it's intense, but it's a little kind of gloom and doom, which I've seen a lot of sci-fi lately, from this year alone. Alone, well, it looks cool. I like that kind of anime feel to it. Uh, B plus two. I mean, now the real treat of uh, that came with um, the Hobbit, uh, the the t uh, the trailer for Interstellar, which I forgot that was like. I thought it was gonna come out like the date like yesterday before, but like I think Interstellar like it's the new Christopher Nolan movie, which kind of rings bells to its like, sort of like demands your attention, even though even after a Dark Knight Rises raises, uh, this is as big as a tease as you can get. It's basically uh, the, the trailer's nothing but uh, Matthew McConaughey sort of. Uh, Doing like a Cliff Notes monologue of all the of all the right the right stuff, with an, an alongside like archival footage or and maybe and some some very like vague uh, establishing shots shots of uh, just like us establishing the space race, going through like going through the space program and the space race, and then and then Matthew McConaughey going like we need to. Like we we like we can't be bound and like it has this great music and this big pace. And Matthew McConaughey's he's on a big upswing and he really sells that. 
and ends with this great shot, which I'm sure will look amazing in IMAX, is that when the rocket, like, you're, from the perspective of a farm, from, like, a crop field, field, and it's like, you're just seeing the rocket, like a rocket, just float up into air. Air, and, like, uh, this is a, an, uh, this is a, this is the, this is an original Christopher Nolan movie, so it's gonna, like, it's, like, it's one of those passion projects for him. And it could be really, really cool, and it has, like, and, uh, it's a, it's, it's a really great tease. It feels kind of, it feels weighty and important, but also mysterious, but it also, can, it's exciting in some way. way. And that's the cool thing with Christopher Nolan, he has a kind of, uh, cloud to him that well it's, it's either but it's it's both infuriating but also kind of exciting uh this trailer's not it's like i haven't seen like a, a situation where like the tra a trailer and play in front of the movie that didn't came up that didn't come out before or soon after since like walter mitty back in july uh, but i think it's a great tease hey it is it's really it's really cool uh you have to you ha i think like if you want to see it asap you have to see the you see it from the hobbit hobbit and uh that's all the cool trailers so that's all the new trailers we had today on trailer talk thank you for watching hope you like it uh comment subscribe like share you know the all that jazz thank you for watching watching me and misfit out